Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you all how to remove uh, press on nails. And so I applied these press on nails exactly 12 days ago, um, so almost two weeks ago and they are still holding strong. I did apply these press on nails with Builder Gel and I just want to give you all the up close of how they look. Um, this is what the new growth is looking like here. Honestly, the nails still look really good to me. This is how the thumbnail is looking. Um, yeah, I really enjoy um, using Builder Gel to apply press on nails. I feel like they held up very, very well. The only reason actually I'm getting ready to remove them is because I ate some curry chicken and y'all can see um, parts of the nails are now tinted yellow. So yeah, that's not a hot look for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. Like you see right here, it kind of looks a little bit yellow. and here on the flame is yellow so yeah i'm going to show you all how to properly remove your press on nails so really quick i'm going to show you all the materials that you need i have these little finger soak off bowls i actually got this from my local beauty supply store i did also find them on amazon so i'll leave a link down below a soak off bowl and some rice so i actually like to use rice instead of hot water because i find that the rice holds the heat a lot longer so first thing you want to do is just go ahead and pour the rice into the bowl Now you guys, I've actually reused my rice. I don't fill the bowl all the way up because once I put this in, I find that the rice tends to like overspill. So after you do this, you want to go ahead and heat your rice up in the microwave. You guys, be careful with this. You don't want to overheat it. I typically heat mine up for about a minute, but after 30 seconds, I literally just open the microwave door just to kind of like let it cool a little bit and then let the timer continue. So just be careful when you're heating up the rice so that you don't burn it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and heat this up really quick. And right before I do that, I'm also gonna show you all this product. So I actually use this to protect my cuticles. You can just use like regular Vaseline. I just have this. What's funny is I um, had this for my daughter for like diaper rash and it didn't really work for her and so I just had it sitting around the house and then I saw this TikTok video where they say you could use this to protect your cuticles when you're soaking off and I said oh hey that's the perfect way to, to kind of get rid of this product so yeah but you all can just use like regular Vaseline so um, I'm just going to apply just a small amount of that to all of my cuticles and this is probably actually too much Oh, and then the other thing you want to do too is clip the nails down. I actually forgot to do that before I, I applied the oil, but that's okay. So I'm just going to go through and clip the nails um, as short as I can get them. Oh, <laughs> and I forgot to show you guys. There was no lifting on the nails. Jeez, I'm like all out of order except for on this nail but all the rest of the nails did not have any lifting on them. So the builder, applying press on nails with Builder Gel definitely works. So even on this nail, you all can see, I actually don't have any lifting at all. So the only option I really have to do is to soak them off. So yeah, I'll go ahead and finish that really quick. Okay, so now the rice is all warm and toasty. Next, what I do is I'll go ahead and just put this into my bowl and make sure that is kind of surrounding. Make sure the rice is surrounding all the little finger parts. And that's just to keep the acetone warm for quicker soak off. Make sure I want to take some 100% acetone. I have my acetone sitting in this little storage bottle that I got from Dollar Tree. And so what I'll do is I'm gonna go through and just pour enough acetone into each of the little finger holes. Now, if you want to, you can go through and remove the top coat. Um, I'm not actually going to do that because um, I find that I'm still able to soak off in about the same amount of time. So I'm going to go ahead and put my fingers in here. Okay. And I can already feel how warm it is. I also have a towel that I'm going to use to cover my hands. And this is just going to further help keep that heat in. So I'm going to let this soak for about 15, 20 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's actually been about 20 minutes later, so I am gonna go ahead and remove the nails from my soak off bowls and see what they are looking like. I also have my um, cuticle pusher ready to go to help remove any excess gunk and stuff that might come off along with um, this other remover tool. So I normally remove one finger at a time, so that's what the thumbnail looks like. And then I just go through and just like remove that. So you can see it's all kind of just coming off here. And it's just kind of peeling off like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
So that was essentially the top layer that peeled off. You'll want to have a paper towel available. I forgot to grab one, so I'm just using this little thing right here, which, you know, it ain't the best, but it ain't, it's something, you know? Scrape off what you can. It looks like the Builder Gel is still, you know, pretty hard. So what I'm gonna do is just put my thumb back in, let it soak some more, and now move on to my index finger. And the same deal, you know, the part that's, um, that came off in one piece, that's kind of like the, um, the press on nails top coat that came off in one piece like that. <laughs> um, but you'll wanna go through and just um, scrape off what you can. Okay, and if any of the sides were somewhat lifted, I normally try to go underneath the nail and go ahead and try to see if I could just get the whole pop off, whole nail to pop off. It doesn't always happen. I'm gonna go ahead and let that soak some more. I'm gonna move on to the next nail. Yeah, yeah, definitely have paper towels handy. <laughs> so that's what the next nail is looking like. I'm, again, just scrape off that top layer. Okay, so. This one was the one that had a little bit of lifting on it, so you can see most of what was lifting just is just coming right on off. Like so. I think the rest of that is still kind of on the nail. So I'm gonna let that actually finish soaking just so I don't accidentally like damage my nail bed. So I'm gonna get my ring finger out and just scrape off, scrape off. So this is a method when you're applying press-ons with Builder Gel. This is a method where it, it is like you are actually getting your nails done. And so the removal process is not gonna be as easy. Um, so this is a method I like to use, uh, particularly when, like I said, I'm going out of town and I do want my sets to last, you know, two weeks or whatnot. Typically I don't have my sets last that long. Um, like this set right here I did for pop-off or whatever, but. When I go out of town and get my nails done, I wanna make sure they're secure and they're not going anywhere. So that's why I applied them with Builder Gel. And I definitely wanted to show you all this method so that um, if you all are looking for longevity with your press-on nails, um, you know, you have that option. So yeah, I'm gonna to continue to just go through and scrape off what I can here. I'm gonna let this soak off for another 15 minutes and then I'll be right back. Okay, so it's been about another 15 minutes and let's take a look at what we got going on here. Okay. Yeah, everything. Looks like the full cover tip is still just sitting here, huh? Let's see if I can kind of get underneath this. Okay, there we go. So yeah, it'll scrape right on off now. So don't be afraid to get in there and just dig, dig the full cover tip on off. So that is what I am going to do. Just kind of get underneath it a little bit and scrape it off. Okay, happy people. So as you are scraping off the builder gel slash press on nail, you want to make sure that you're really gentle when you're scraping off. I know it looks like I'm scraping really hard, but I'm just applying slight pressures. And whatever product doesn't come off easily, just continue to soak it until you can easily remove it with slight pressure. I'm going to just soak my tools in this already used acetone just so that when I go to clean up, I can just uh, wipe it off. But yeah, this is what the nails are looking like right now. I'm gonna go through with a lint-free wipe and a little bit of acetone just to remove whatever remaining residue off of my nails. So I'm gonna do that really quick. So this is what the nails are looking like right now. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and clean up this area. Then I'll be back to show you all how I just kind of like nourish my nails. And as I'm cleaning this up, I wanted to give you all a really quick tip. Um, for acetone, you actually do not want to pour this down your drain. Um, it could cause, you know, some of the piping and stuff to deteriorate because it's such a strong chemical. So typically um, with my acetone, I literally just take some paper towels and I just like put them inside of each of these little holes here to kind of let it absorb, right? And then I'll just dispose of it in my trash can. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I shared that tip with you guys um, so that you know we're, we aren't clogging up our drains and stuff in our homes, okay? So I'm just gonna, like I said, soak this, soak so a little piece of paper towel in all of the little holes here. And then I'll use um, like a, a little lint-free wipe to kind of get all of this this residue off of the sides. But I just wanted to make sure you all knew not to actually um, pour your acetone down the drain. So yeah, I'll be back. All right, you guys, so this is what the nails look like after they've been washed and dried. So it's just some lint for my towel here. <laughs> 
So yeah, now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is, um, I'm actually gonna just go ahead and clip this nail off. I don't know, it kind of broke a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna just clip my nails down. I'm actually getting ready to do acrylic set on this hand anyway. So I'm gonna clip my nails down the sides. Yeah, the last two sets I've done on this hand, I've had to soak off. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and keep these nails short anyway. And so after you do that, you'll just wanna go in and actually apply cuticle to the actual nails. Um, and cuticle area. This is just to hydrate the nail and get it looking and feeling healthy again. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that and rub it all the way in. So this is what the removal looks like. This is how you properly remove your nails. Um, this was how I removed my press on set, but honestly, this is how you really remove any set that you've done that you need to soak off. Um, the only thing I didn't show and do in the video was uh, removing the top coat. You can do that, it'll uh, allow for a quicker removal process, but um, I had time, I was just watching some YouTube videos um, while I was doing that. So yeah, um, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If y'all need any help on how to do your soak offs, definitely leave me any questions or concerns in the comments and I'll be happy to help you as best I can. And yeah, if you're all are curious about how I got this look, I do have a full tutorial on this set. I will leave it linked down in the description box below. Stay tuned to the end, I am gonna go ahead and insert a couple of pictures of what my acrylic set looked like that I did on this hand after the soak off. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!